everyone. My name is Ryan Douglas with the Community Foundation of Greater Des Moines, and I'm joined today with a special guest, Kelsey Sherblum, an estate planning attorney with Duncan Green Law, and also a recent addition to our Professional Advisors Council. Welcome, Kelsey. Thanks, Ryan, for having me. First, I'd just like to ask, could you just tell us about our current environment? What's the estate tax limits that we should be aware of, and maybe what are the important changes that we should be aware of? So right now, for 2024, the, the federal estate tax exemption is $13.61 million per individual. So if you have a married couple, they can give over $27 million without causing any sort of estate tax. So they can pass that out to any individual. Um, spouses, obviously, are exempted. Um, any individual without causing estate tax. Um, what's happening at the end of 2025 is that the federal estate tax exemption is going to sunset. Um, so back in 2017, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act was passed. And what that did was that it doubled the exemption from what it was around 5.49 million to then it was about 11 and as index for inflation every year. So right now it's 13.61 million. It'll go up again next year in 2025. December 31st, 2025, absent any action from Congress, that is going to be cut in half. Um, so it's going to go back to those 2020-17 rates, index for inflation. So right now we're looking at probably $7 million mm -hmm. per individual, so $14 million for a married couple that they can pass free of estate tax. So again, this has been a huge topic in the professional advisor community with their clients and planning. And you know, for some families, that $14 million new number mm -hmm. is still pretty high, but you know, when you look at projections of markets or the growth mm -hmm. of their business after five, 10 years, people can creep up on that number pretty quick. So why, why should people be thinking about planning now for this? So right now, it's a great opportunity for people who have the ability to gift large amounts of money to do that now. Um, before it sunsets because it's basically you use it or you lose it. Mm -hmm. So if you only gift five million dollars before the sunset, you know, you've just lost five million of your exemption, you're not using any of that extra that's mm -hmm. going to go back down. And so it's a great opportunity to get wealth passed out of your estate, so getting rid of estate taxes for you without causing additional tax for your family. Yeah, and that's a common question that I've been receiving in my conversations is, well, will it get clawed back? You know, can after the sunset, if it happens, can the government or IRS or whoever it is come back and say, oh, no, that exemption is not usable? What's, yeah. what's the rule on that? Yeah, I get that question a lot too. And so right now, there is no clawback. If you use this high exemption while it's there, the government can't call out claw it back later. So mm -hmm. you're protected from any clawback that could happen. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's an important planning topic for sure. Mm -hmm. So when you're meeting with your clients or yeah. for our professional advisors in general, you know, mm -hmm. again, our audience has wealth planners, tax mm -hmm. planners. What what should we all collectively know when it comes to this uh, talking point? And whether that's charitable or not, what are what are conversations are you having with clients as far as mm -hmm. planning opportunities? Well, yeah. First of all, it really needs to be a team approach, is that you can't just look at your accountant or look at your financial advisor and say, we need to do something. Is that you really got to get the whole team together and get your attorneys, your financial advisors, your accountants, and make a plan and get a plan in place. So last question really is around the charitable giving piece. Mm -hmm. What sort of planning opportunities um, are there for clients that are charitable mm -hmm. that could potentially get ahead of this sunsetting legislation? And coupled with that, why do you see the Community Foundation as a good partner in that relationship as well? Okay, so I'm going to kind of break that down Please. into a couple different sections. So first of all, for clients who have charitable intentions, you know, there's a lot of great opportunity. Um, if I have a client who comes in who has a taxable estate and they say, I don't want to pay any estate tax, I say, okay, here's what you're going to do then. You're going to give as much as you can, that total federal estate tax exemption, and everything over that you're going to give to charity. That is the surefire way to have no estate tax paid. Yeah. Um, charitable giving is a great way to reduce your taxable estate, and the Community Foundation is an awesome partner to work with. Um, when I have clients who have charitable intent, um, it's great to connect them with you guys because you guys know a lot. 
Um, and you can connect with organizations within the Des Moines mm -hmm. area, within all of Iowa, because you have all of those affiliate relations, yeah. um, to figure out what are, you ch what are you passionate about, what causes do you donate to now, what would be some place that you want to send money to at your death, or in preparation for the sunset, maybe just getting some money out of your estate, mm -hmm. setting up a charitable fund now. Yeah, great. Well, thank you very much, mm -hmm. and thank you for joining us today. I yeah. think this is a really timely topic. Again, there's some runway before this uh, sunset legislation here at the end of 2025, but again, as we talked about today, time is on our side right now, but could be more difficult for planning here this next year. So thank you for everyone for joining us today to learn more about this topic. And if you need additional information, we encourage you to reach out to learn more here at the Community Foundation.